fairy tale fun, the three little unicorns, and the big bad dragon. A magical twist on a classic tale. Written by Rosie Greening. Illustrated by Stuart Lynch. Read by Mommy Kate. Cookie Cloud and Caramel were clever unicorns. They made delicious food with their amazing magic. So that is Cookie, Cloud, and Caramel. Mommy said, Mom said, Little unicorns, there's no room for you now that you're grown. You need to make your own tasty treats in houses of your own. Cloud went off to Candyland to build her new house there. It was made of cotton candy, so it stood as light as, uh, as, light as air. Mmm. A grumpy dragon soon came by. Cloud said, You can't stay. The dragon huffed and puffed until he blew the house away. Cloud ran off to Caramel, whose house looked dragon proof. Each part was made of ice cream from the floor up to the roof. Mm. The dragon longed to get inside. He had a trick to do. He melted all the ice cream with his fiery sneeze. Cloud and Caramel ran off to Cookie's home instead. Her house was very strong and made of rock hard gingerbread. Mmm, yummy, yummy gingerbread. Oh, hold on. Let me make sure I didn't skip a page. Okay, no, I didn't. Sorry about that. The grumpy dragon tried again but had no luck at all. He couldn't blow the house down and he couldn't melt the walls. He clambered down the chimney to a pool of something sweet. He licked the chocolate, grinned and said, could I have more to eat? He said, I heard about your treats. I'm sorry I was rude. I always get so grumpy when I'm hungry for some food. So the unicorns all use their horns to make a dragon feast. And from that day, the dragon wasn't grumpy in the least. The end. This book has some sight words. Mm -hmm. You want to read them real quick? Okay. Read the sentences. The unicorns make treats. They have magic horns. I would... Love to see a unicorn. <laughs> the houses are made of food. Cloud runs away from the dragon. Cookie's house is very strong. The dragon eat wants to their the Sorry. dragon wants their treats.